said publicly that he was taking a break after Fusion until LMBM. But yeah, I guess a 100 person bracket is a too, tem too tempting of an offer to pass yeah, up. It didn't really have a smooth bracket on Monday. Definitely, you know, might, might have had like reconsideration, like hold up. Maybe I want to clean it, you know. Maybe I want to stay dedicated to the grind, warm up for less maybe big moves, because that's right around the corner. And right now, you know, Jackal looking to show up Syrup, the kid over here. Show yeah. up the real king of New Jersey. I was going to say, Kid Clip himself, right now, making Ness look so clean. But right now, Ness not able to get anything started, because it is just the Jackal show. Oh, carrying Ness coast to coast, having the ledge drop uh -oh. with the footstool, getting oh, something no. crazy started, and this could be a problem. Yeah, the immediate disadvantage from Jackal already, just falling into syrup schemes and everything. Bro is hooking, trying to drip the syrup on the pancake as right now, as he tries to call out Jackal oh, coming out. No. Speaking of call outs, dude, that was mm -hmm. that was about as hard of call out as you can get. The Wolf Flash is gonna allow Jackal to find his way back, but that F tilt not Indeed. safe, and Ness has that back throw, baby. Aw, uh, definitely not nerf from Smash 4. Sorry, Toon Link. But, you know, we're back to a nice, even game right now, and I like the pace of how things are going right now. Syrup is trying to get that shield poke on the shield to kind of get their extension rolling, but you know how Wolf always plays in yeah. these neutral and, interactions. And uh, Jackal just hit a double down air in neutral to start that combo. That, what, uh, Jackal, Jackal definitely feeling himself right now. Like, we're seeing him play with a confidence that, honestly, he kind of lacked a little bit on winner's side tonight and and at Fusion on Monday, he definitely seemed a little bit nervous, but we're not seeing any of that now, and I think part of that is just how comfortable he is playing against Zero. Yeah, and one of the things that he's doing so, so well is not letting Syrup play that game. You saw that bait, a little poke out of the shield. I love that. Syrup just trying to get the reversal with the PK fire right now, but Jackal playing the stock very, very beautifully here at the ledge, just trying to snipe it out with the F tilt, the call and the jump as well, but Syrup answering back with the magnet pressure on in. Yeah, the magnet pressure coming through clutch, but Syrup today has dropped an uncharacteristic amount of those double jump magnet cancels, not able to find those extensions. And against Wolf, it's a little bit riskier as well. He has so many good tools to punish that. But we're really just, we've seen him kind of move away from it. Jackal saying, okay, we're at center stage. That My back throw is not going to kill quite yet. So just going to take some stage positioning off of that forward throw and try to find this corner situation. Making great use of that platform as well to force Syrup to go low. Because if he goes high, you can catch the landing lag and get a kill with off up tilt. And, but somehow, Jackal still ends up finding the stock even after that whole coast to coast. Yeah, Sarah going for an unfortunate trade in that situation, allowing Jackal to get the upper hand with this stock right here. Now, I love how Jackal is kind of just shutting down Syrup's game right now, getting these air to airs, getting these very, very smart interactions kind of on the shield, and you know. That's what you gotta do against Ness, essentially, because Ness has a really good advantage state. They're, they they really blew you up with those openings, and Jackal is not letting that roll on through. Yeah, and we're, we're finally seeing Syrup right start to find some catches, start to find, start to find some backers. But one of the things that I want to really point out is just how few buttons Syrup has pushed this game. Right, we're gonna see a back throw again. This one's not gonna do it just yet, but Syrup hasn't really been able to get started. Right, you. you you see Ness is just like always throwing out hitboxes because their frame data is so good, their hitboxes are so active. They're kind of a little bit of mashers and they'll admit it themselves. Yeah. But Syrup really just kind of hasn't been able to do that at all. Jackal has just been smothering him, but, but when it up. matters most, he's managing to get something started and this oh, could be it. Walking the dog, but the upbeat, poking Syrup, knocking him back out of that shield. But right now, Syrup was down so much this game and coming on back, oh. walking the dog on out to the park, to the blast zone. We got Syrup clutching uh, out this game one. All right. You, you walk, all right. I, is it a wolf or is it a, is it a husky? Because I'm going to be honest, the way he walked that dog, it looked a little bit tame there at the end. Not, not Definitely not wild out in this house. Jackal now down 1-0 to Syrup. Opting to just, it looked like run it right back. But we'll see for sure in just a second. And what ha when it mattered most, right, Syrup kind of just turned up the pace, right? Yeah. It didn't, he was playing very slow, but af after those first two stocks, he just, it felt like every time Jackal hit him, he just got reversed. Yeah, and right now, Jackal opening up with a very strong opening with that 50%. Syrup looking to do just the same, forward throwing up in the corner, but hold up, it's still Drew Jackal Harris' turn here at the ledge, trying to two frame with a down smash, not able to make it back, but Syrup, Narrowly escaping that S smash that would have been big damage. Yep, and that raw nair from Jackal is so smart as well. It's rising, so you don't get combos off of it. But Ooh. what you do get is just the a fantastic get off me tool. But in order to make use of that, you have to find your way back down the stage, which Jackal is able to do. And now having Syrup Ooh, in the ledge, the Jackal getting a little bit aggressive. 
expecting the attempt at ledge, edge, going for the F-Till, and PK Rocket is gonna find the clip again. I love that recognition from Syrah right there. Jackal answering back very fiercely with the back air, trying to even this game on up, shoving off the PK Rocket. You see those shine columns going kind of crazy, and Jackal, that shield looking mighty low, but the patience coming out with the L-Smash out of shield to just escape that situation. Yep. Syrup, there are no Skittles breaking for you here. Yeah, I love those drag downs from Syrup as well, just kind of trying to mix up Jackal on what he's going to do, find these non-true extensions. And, and Jackal again trying to call out with an F-Smash, but after that, after earlier, Syrup is ready for it and not getting caught by anything. Jackal is getting caught swinging a lot here, and the confidence that was so apparent early in game one kind of has evaporated. We're seeing him kind of get caught swinging a whole lot. Yeah, and that's the thing. When you're playing against Ness, once they get that advantage state going, they, once they start locking down the zones as well, you can see Syrup just with phenomenal shield pressure, always covering Jackal's bases and everything. It kind of just snowballs on you, but right now this is Jackal's turn to kind of just take the wind out of Syrup's sails, perhaps, but Syrup still answering back very fiercely from the jump from the ledge and taking the stock off that dash attack. Yeah, fantastic stuff from Syrup there, and uh, apparently Ness Forward Air just beats out Wolf no, yeah. F-Till on in range, even with the disjoint. That's mm -hmm. just kind of... That move is so broken, man. I, I don't even know what to say yeah, about that, it. That's just basically like a sortie with those big old disjoints. I mean, they're both like sorties. Ooh. Who who gave who gave sorties who gave sorties all of these other tools too? Oh, man. Yeah, we I, might have to rethink that classification, honestly. You know, but right now, right, Syrup has the opportunity to, or Syrup, Jackal has the opportunity to bring this back, getting the the correct read on the dash attack. But Syrup, with the perfect spacing, Jackal a little bit too impatient and not able to find it. Now Ness at 183. Remember, this kid is light. He's floaty. It's very hard, and the tick grab coming in again, the only one really in ultimate, allowing Syrup to kind of find that reversal, get this advantage state, and Jackal just, again, not able to close out the stock, not able to find these hits. Syrup's defensive play has been utterly fantastic. Yeah, and like you were saying before, not pushing those too many buttons has come in so clutch for Syrup, as Jackal hasn't been able to get any really openings off any parries or any nothing, but Syrup playing this out once again at the ledge. Jackal coming up, swinging with the dash Fine. attack. All right, showing signs of life, perhaps. And right, this is Wolf we're talking about, right? This character has a combo game, but Ness able to find his way out so floaty, he getting away from that Nair, and so the platform extension doesn't come through, and now Syrup has the corner situation, could close it out, but instead it's Jackal getting a code to code, finding the mix-up, looking for the back here, that could, would have been game had it. Hey, oh, man, smash, call out! Smash. Oh, oh Cyril no, didn't kill! He's still living right now. This is your super opportunity, okay, but okay. f tilt plopping what? at the ledge, not gonna kill. Full skill kills. Jackal, Jackal, oh, are you Jackal. kidding? Oh! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? The dog's in the house now. Okay, okay, Jackal's looking a little bit more wild now. All right. No walking the dog here in the house this game, and uh, Snivy, that was that was as gutsy as it comes, because if he missed that, that was he was well, dead. He, he was dead, but he had the stock. Oh, he yeah. had that room to play with. You know what? Jackal, like you were saying before, he used that little confidence. He needed a little pep in that step. And right there in that game, too, we can see it coming on back. He's like, I'm not going to let this kid show me yep. up for like the five millionth time. And nah, -uh, no way. And that was really like, that's a top player clutch factor, right? That's the reason that Jackal is uh, right on, on the, you know, in, that international ultimate ranking right from this past season. And and now the fair coming out, he's getting a combo train, already has Ness in disadvantage. You have so much potential to make something happen, but Syrup has been so good at getting off the ledge in this set. Yeah, and I really like Syrup, always picking these reversal situations very, very carefully. You can see that 56 damage and 70 on climbing has gone pretty even for Jackal right now. But I always love how, you know, Jackal always shoves it off. He finds a very well-placed Nair to kind of just shove apart Syrup's disadvantage, and with the uppies as well, I imagine we're going to see Syrup being challenged a lot more on these kind of options going about. Yeah, and we see a dare again. Jackal really has found a lot of success with that move on stage. Very non-traditional option, especially due to how much startup it has. The back though, not going to do it from center stage. If it was at closer to ledge, it very well could have, but it still gives Syrup oh. the corner situation and a uh, DI. Suspect DI Sir? out on the situation, Sir? looking a little sus. Yeah, I, I mean, lie. I think he was expecting the forward throw for stage positioning because he, he's like, oh, back air's not going to kill. Syrup's not going to go for yeah. it. Syrup's saying, oh, well, that's what I did last time. So this time, uh, have have a have some bad DI. Honestly, it's a mess of 50 50 situation. You just kind of got to pick your poison, but and right uh, now, Syrup, of. yeah, Syrup not really picking poison here. F tilt, definitely got to hold that. Yeah, no, Jackal has found 
so much success. He's oh! still running the game one, but the jab, that jab reset, gonna find, sorry, down to the reset technically, gonna find major damage, but not the stock. Jackal, great SDI out of that PK fire, or, or down and away, myth, missing platform, combined with being a fast faller, finding such success, but Jack, Syrup, he's utilizing Ness's floatiness oh as God. well to find his way out of combos Stop. into a reversal and another stock sniping. Bro, why do they always get up into it? Just get up attack the yo-yo. I don't understand. I don't understand. Please. Yeah, you know, you know, sometimes you're like, they're going to do it and I'm going to hit them for it. And then they don't do it and then you get hit for it. Like, uh, you know, <laughs> High level analysis right there. High level analysis. It's like, you know, that one clip on the I will minecart here because it is good. It was I will not mine good. Car here because it was good. I will minecart here because it is good. It I did will, not work. <laughs> I will wait to back it here because it is good, but yeah, oh yeah, no. Snivy, I don't see any minecarts on screen right now, nor do I see any blocks because this is Wolf versus Ness. We have on our screen Jackal on his last stock here at Kilverson. And he is so afraid of everything. If he closes this stock out, he has a chance, but he has to find something fast because soon you're in, in kill range. Now, right, you have to be so scared. If you get grabbed at ledge, that's it. Yeah, that is pretty much it. And I imagine this is probably going to go to a game for whether Jackal likes it or not. Dash attack oh, okay. taking that stock there. If you speak it, it will happen. If you build it, they will come. And as Snivy says, no caster curse here. We're sending it right into a game number three with Syrup winning counter pick advantage. Yeah, and now, uh, honestly, I think this is my read. I think it's probably going to go to a game five set. Since I believe. A lot of these sets between Jackal and Syrup, they're not complete washes. Also, did you, did you see uh, Jackal's counter pick? We went to town. Oh, we're going to town? Yep. Okay. I I, I I like it in theory, right? Wolf gets the, the platform layouts on the stage can be really good for Wolf. The side platforms as well can give him some additional mix-ups out of disadvantage, allowing you to kind of bypass some of the just oppressive ledge trapping that Syrup has managed to put together so far this set, as well as those smaller, right, those, some of those smaller blast zones allowing Wolf to maybe find kills sooner, but so too is Syrup going to, and that extra stage maybe allows Syrup a little bit more room to play with should he like to take advantage of it. Yeah, but right now, phenomenal opening for Jackal, that 94%. These there's looking so good, waiting for that air dodge oh, to that was almost crazy. get the F-Smash as well. So unfortunate. Right now, Syrup kind of picking up the pieces of that. Dude, getting that shield poke on in, and I'm very scared for this yeah. kind of situation that's playing out here. That F-Smash, not even unfortunate, right? That's just Ness's being floaty with one of the best, with arguably the best single air dodge in the game as well. Coming in clutch. Jackal just opting for some stage positioning here into a pivot walk, trying to confuse Syrup just a little bit, but not managing to find it. And again, Syrup just F smashing the wrong way. Definitely looking for a reflector on a laser there, but ni neither player really getting what they were looking Let's, for. And so he's fighting his inner demon. Ness has a lot of inner demons that he got to fight, and that inner demon is also Wolf Nair. Yeah. Wolf Nair is so incredibly active, right? Rising, falling, it kills the combos. That move does everything. It's a get off me tool. It does everything you could ever want to move an ultimate to do. And it's basically that cruise control, you know? Yeah. You're just chilling. Yeah, you just, uh, if you don't know what to do with Wolf, uh, empty hop and then mix in some Nair. Problem solved. Right? Exactly. Now the beautiful on-stage mix-up from Jackal with that upbeat, managing to find something, looking for the mix-up, finding the reset here off the platform. Beautiful pot drop, but as again, getting caught being a little bit over aggressive. Syrup managing to find so many opportunities just out of kind of Jackal putting himself in bad situations. Yeah, these platforms are kind of being a real homie for Jackal right now. Jackal has been able to find so many conversions, so many good openings off of them, and Seraph hasn't really been able to make much use as Jackal you know, still just using this platforms to kind of his advantage to move around, yeah. use Seraph, and really get those open but, uh, aggress. You know, it doesn't matter how much you get confused because you're going to get spun to one and to the blast zone off that back throw. Syrup finally managing to find the stock, and now on FD. It's interesting that Syrup's choosing to kind of slow down the pace of play here specifically because it feels like the platform layouts, regardless of what they are, all benefit Jackal so much more. Uh -oh. The side ones you can get, you can get additional carries with your fair into like you can get extension. So I understand why, but at the same time, right, this it gives you so many more mix-ups and the back end not gonna do it either. Snivy, both these players are just swinging. God, it is. Yeah, that was such a scramble. Two kill sparks. Mm -hmm. The back here and Ness 
just Syrup just trying to end it all right there at the end of the stage. That back air not quite working out for Syrup right now. Definitely still looking to gun his stock. So to just not let Jackal take this any further. Because yeah, if Jackal makes this game five happen. Oh my. Yeah, I mean. If Jackal makes this game five happen. Syrup got to do a little sweating to do. At the same time though, right? Jackal won on his counter. Is gonna might is is pace to win on his counter pick. We don't know who won RPS. As but Syrup does have that counter pick advantage, which means in that all-important game five, he's gonna be somewhere he's comfortable if we even get there. Snivy, because even though Syrup's at kill percent, this is Ness we're talking about. This is a last talk situation. This character could zero to death you out of nowhere, and nobody's more likely to do it than Kid Clip himself. Yeah, but hold up. Bear Train calling out these jumps as well from the fairs. All right, catching on to Jackal's game plan right now. Jackal noticing that Syrup's just been calling him out right now. He's trying to slow down the pace just a little bit, but hold up. Fooling you once, just jumping right up in the shape face of Syrup right now. Definitely looking to meet the arms of a back air, and there you go, right into the blast zone. You know what, Snivy? I'm, I'm gonna give you congrats on that prediction. That was beautiful. It's and, just uh, the game plan. That's just the game plan. He got put in that situation because he tried to punish Blaster and yeah, got hit by the no. melee hitbox. Because people forget that that move has a up close hitbox that deals like 15 and puts you in the perfect position for a Wolf to just to juggle you afterwards, right? To find those backers, to find those situations, especially with the platforms on town. Syrup now considering where he wants to go as a counter pick in this all important game five. Winner moves on to loser's finals. Loser out of the tournament. Yeah. So um, I believe this is for, I want to say fair. Yeah, this is this is a loser semifinals here. And we got the Smashville counter pick, which you're looking to just not let Jackal, right? Town, much larger stage, he, able to control the pace of play, able to kind of stay away from Ness a little bit. Whereas the center platform gonna allow a much easier juggles for Ness. The smaller blast zone is gonna allow the back throw to kill sooner. And just allow overall, right? The small stage side is just not allowing Jackal Ooh. to get away. Yeah, and I imagine the utilization of that center platform is going to be such a huge, huge factor for Shift game plan going because this is his counter pick. You know, you wouldn't come here if you know you weren't going to get that win. And I imagine using hit a down air to his advantage would set Jackal up in a pretty bad situation on that flat. And Jackal's now fished for two fair into back airs, dro unfortunately dropping both of them. Uh oh. And looking for the wolf flash as well, he is swinging for these kills early. He knows that if these stocks go on, then Syrup has the advantage on the small stage side. But Syrup calling him out. Incredibly active hitbox of Fair Air managing to close it, close it out for Syrup and taking an early lead. All right, Syrup not able to punch the air dodge right now. Jackal still hanging on to this kind of stock right now. All right, four throw him up in the corner, try to reset the situation again. Jackal just, Jackal got to take the stock from Syrup right here, right yeah. now. And one of the things on this stage that I want to point out, right? Watch how Syrup trying to just when they're both on stage, stage not without Jackal at ledge, is just sitting at the edge of platform, right? He's sitting under yes. this platform, forcing Jackal to oh, walk to get lane. And that is falling, you saved him. Yeah, you saved him with that tech, and unfortunate for Syrup, he's oh, gonna get reversed as a result. And that's a window, right? Jackal has the opportunity to get back into that game. The untrue frameable angle is gonna get right through the yo-yo there. Very smart stuff from Jackal. And now, right, Syrup has plat control, but not for long, and and just struggling to find a way in to defensive play that just leveled up all of a sudden for Jackal. Yeah, Jackal was doing a pretty good job holding that at center, but calling out the Wolf Flash with the yo-yo, very good stuff. That stock is definitely taken. You got this phenomenal lead. You just gotta hold down the floor. You know, you have to watch for Jackal's approaches, sniping on out, and you can just win this game and close it out pretty confident. Absolutely. Hey, the thing to remember, though, is this is Jackal's stock tournament stock. His back is as against the wall as it is going to get here at Encore. Missing a tech, but Syrup not ready for it. That jab block could have been it. Um, oh. Instead, Jackal has another opportunity here to make something happen. Swinging for these back airs, but has not been able to find any. Oh no! And Syrup, unfortunate SD. Yeah, critical error in the game plan. Missing the PK Thunder to kind of just connect back to the stage. Was not space right for it. But this might be what Jackal needs to take out this kid over here. The PK kid might be getting put down real quick over here. We'll see what happens as Jackal looks to kind of just come back to the stage. Is posed to just meet the face of a fair, a good old back air. Syrup just tries to lock down the center so, so much. Not allowing Jackal to get in. And this center platform, right? Jackal's 
Jack will make great, great use of it as they extend his combos, rack on this damage, and really find stage control. Oh, it's allowed him to get fewer openings to a kill than he has at really any other point this set. And Syrup's really thrived when these stocks have gone longer. And so he's putting himself in a situation where Jackal is able to find these early kills and he's not getting the the amount of neutral openings that have really allowed him to thrive so far, but the back air is gonna take it. Yeah, man, that was that was really such a great sequence at the end. They were both just trying to find their openings. They're trying to dissect each other's game plans so far. You can saw that Jackal when Syrup hit him.